Hey folks, welcome back to Coach's Corner. It's time for Chalk Talk number four. The whistle is blown, their player skates to the box, and now we've got the man advantage. We're on the power play. How are we going to use it to best effect? That's what we're going to be talking about this week. First of all, let's talk about our goals on the power play. We have to generate lots of shots on goal. Not one, not two, but three, four, five shots on goal during a power play opportunity um, is what we're looking for. Even if we don't score, lots of shots on goal creates pressure and a sense of urgency for the other team, and we're taking the game to them. It's also important for us when we're on the power play to maintain possession of the puck. An effective power play keeps the puck in our zone for the majority of the two minutes or four minutes or however long we're on the power play. And then finally, an effective power play gives up zero shorthanded scoring chances. So that's what we're aiming for. How are we going to achieve it? Well, we're going to achieve it by focusing on formation. Formation hockey or position hockey allows us to be more efficient and achieve our goals more effectively. So let's talk about our options with formations. Number one is called the overload, and it uses the same cycling principle that we learned about last week. Three forwards, one on the half wall, one in between the hash marks, and one down low, trading positions in a clockwise fashion to generate uh, lanes for shots and for passes across the circle. This can generate high quality scoring chances, but it doesn't generate high volume of shots. So it's not really the preferred power play method. Once teams are effective um, on their power play, they usually switch to different models. So let's talk about our other options. Formation number two is called the umbrella. And this is a very common form of power play. Two forwards down low by the goalie, one forward up high, playing with the defenseman from the points to generate lots of shots from the point. This um, power play formation is uh, successful at generating shots from the point. You can see the passing uh, is along the dotted lines and uh, the forwards down low are there to set screens and grab greasy rebound type goals. This is an awesome power play if you've got good shooters from the point, which we do. So we may use the umbrella uh, at times this season and we'll work on it in practice. The third and final formation is the most commonly used power play formation today. It's called the 1-3-1. It uses the umbrella principle of having three players up high, but instead of having two players down low, one of your forwards kind of takes up position in the center of the ice and can either facilitate with passing or with shooting. It gives you more looks, more passing lanes, and can generate high volume and high quality shooting. Let's take a look at an NHL team running that now. Here we have the Montreal Canadiens, Jeff Petrie's walk in the blue line. You can see the three players across the middle and then the one player down low. The, the puck moves so quickly to the backside that they get a shot on Bobrovsky and the forward um, is screening him down low, which enables the shot to go in. A perfect example of the 1-3-1 in action. Let's take a look at our power play now. The puck drops, their players in the box, and the power play starts. Our four checkers need to be a little more aggressive here, but that's okay. We eventually win the puck back, and now it's time to go to work. Our zone entry here should focus on setting up the formation, right? Instead of trying to get the puck to the net right away, if we're patient and we set up our formation, we have a much higher likelihood of generating scoring chances. We had one low danger scoring chance there. And as you can see, we're keeping the puck in our offensive zone, but not generating a lot of shots on goal. So, by playing formation hockey while we're on the power play, we can increase the likelihood that we're getting high quality shots and not turning the puck over and seeing it go the other way like we did just there. Once again, no offense to any player featured in our video. It's not about you as an individual, it's about our team and how we can get better. I hope you enjoyed the video and I look forward to working on these concepts with you in practice.